Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to the Lekki Conservation Center. Hi guys, so hmm, it's been so stressful so far. We got to this place and apparently their pure hair was not working. So we had to go out and look for an ATM. Like we had to walk down all the way to Chevron Drive and then I sent those cuts. <laughs> then I had to wear my friend's slippers. Thank God we had to wear slippers around. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah, so I'm wearing my friend's slippers now. And then we realized we were hungry. <laughs> so we went to Mega Chicken to get some food. And now we are walking back into the conservation center. And see. Yeah, can you see? Yeah. So basically, we are here and the tour is about to start. I'll keep you guys updated. Bye! The Lekki Conservation Center is an initiative of the Nigerian Conservation Foundation to protect wildlife in the face of the sprawling urban development. Everything in the center is left to be in its natural state. The animals are left to be in their natural habitat or an habitat like their natural one is created for them. And then we went to meet Mr. Tortoise who is 94 and the oldest tortoises in Lagos. He was really calm though for his age and even let me rub his head. Now we into the jungle. The main attraction of the conservation center is this canopy walkway which is the longest in Africa, but to get there, we have to go through this never-ending wooden bridge that is surrounded by the mangrove and the swampy forest. Right now, we are on the mangrove part of the forest, which is named so because of the type of trees you can find in it. Guys, our tour guide just left us. <laughs> Because we're right there taking pictures and making videos and he just left us. So right now, we can't find him. We are <laughs> trying to find a way on our own. And we're hoping we locate him like pretty soon. And afterwards, it seemed like a walk that would never end. Ta da! So, we're about to go on the longest kind of walk in Africa. I'm excited. And the second longest in the world, right? Okay, it's pretty scary. <laughs> it's 401 meters. 401 meters. If you climb this, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you for ready? Definitely. The first one is in Malaysia. Let me start the beginning of my video. This. The what? The one in Malaysia is 500 meters. While this one is 401 meters. Wow. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's go. We're about to start this journey now. I'll Sorry. see you guys at the other side because I'm not sure I can record while I'm on it. <laughs> All right. Nice. See you guys at the other side. Bye. In case you didn't hear what I said, the canopy is 401 meters long, while the one in Malaysia, which is the longest in the world, is 500 meters long. Even though this center has been in existence since 1989, the canopy walkway wasn't commissioned till May 2015 and wasn't opened for public use till December of that same year. The canopy has a total of 7 bridges and 6 towers which are the resting points. This was just after the first bridge, I was scared as hell while on it. Um, 
straight down, three to go. I just crossed this and I have three more to go. I think it actually gets easier as you grow up, but this is freaking scary. Like, I'm on the top of the world right now. Yes, I was right, because by the time we were at the last bridge, we're not so scared as to make a video while on it. Crocodiles and um, whatever thing the park has to offer. I really don't know what we have left to see, but I'm really, really exhausted. I've not eaten all day. I'm super exhausted, but well, talk to you soon. Bye. No, we didn't see the crocodiles. What we did see was the savanna grassland which is basically a large expanse of land with lots and lots of gazebos for you to just chill with family and friends after touring. Probably have a picnic or something. There are a variety of floor games also on the grassland or you could just relax and enjoy the very beautiful view of nature. Cracky. Part for me of the grassland where the fish ponds, the so very beautiful fishes. By the time we got to the koi point, it was being cleaned, so we didn't get the best view of the koi fishes. But if you're lucky as to go when the water is totally clean, you should see something like this. to go home and to do that we have to get back on the wooden bridge but this time through the swampy forest the water at this part of the forest is the deepest and also houses the crocodiles but like I said earlier the animals are left to roam in the natural habitat so you only see them if they choose to come out and in our case they didn't so no croaky so basically we are trying to find a way out of here <laughs> Guys, we just got to the dead end, so we are turning around. We are turning around. 
Oh Lord. Oh Lord. <laughs> While wandering, we came across the street owls, which we later got to know isn't in use at the moment, as the ladders have grown weak and not considered safe for visitors to go on. But I could only imagine how fun it would be to climb and how amazing the view from the top would be. the connection of the stuff. Remember this when we were oh <laughs> so yep out of here yeah. <laughs> I know right oh, and this was a very lovely thing very lovely experience. The Lekki Conservation Centre was everything I expected and more. The canopy walk is something I think everyone should go on at least once in their lifetime. And be prepared for the monkeys, they are everywhere. Thanks for coming with me on this adventure guys. If you enjoyed watching it, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe for more travel videos. Till our next destination, bye bye. Uh, this is the best in Africa we have. In Africa. Africa yes. And it's the second in the world? Yes, I know it's the second in the world. And you are nice of visiting this uh, lucky conservation. Just awesome like that, you know. well,